Earlier, we took some time to uh, examine exactly how to convert a fraction into a decimal. And what we have here is a basic conversion from a fraction into a decimal, because if we can remember correctly, 3 over 4 actually means 3 divided by 4. And when we take our calculator and we punch in 3 divided by 4, we're going to end up with 0 0.75. Okay, so we can say that 3 fourths equals 0 0.75. And when we look at our place values, we can see that we actually have 75 hundredths. So if we were to actually represent this decimal as a fraction, it would in fact be 75 over 100. Well, when we reduce our fractions into its simplest forms, we can tell that we can eventually reduce this down to three quarters. And that is why three quarters is actually a fraction equivalent of 75 over 100. And the way that we can figure that out is that if we multiply the top and the bottom by 25, 25 times 3 is 75, and 25 times 4 is 100. Well, the question is, is how does this relate us into percentages? Well, if we remember correctly, percentage basically means out of 100. So if we have uh, something that's written as 70%, what that simply means is that 70 out of 100. And percentages are quite important. So, if we look at a decimal and we want to convert a fraction or a decimal into a percentage, we have to just understand that a percentage is based over 100. So if we look at this fraction again as 3 over 4, we understand that this is also equal to 0 0.75. And since 7.75 is represented as 75 over 100, we can simply say that this is 75%. For another example, let's take a look at the fraction 1 fifth. Obviously, we know that uh, 1 over 5 simply means 1 divided by 5. So if we take 1 divided by 5, we come up with a decimal of 0 0.2. And since that we know that 0 0.2 is the exact same as saying 0 0.20, we can say that this 0 0.20 can be represented as a fraction as 2, 20 over 100. Therefore, we know that this is, in fact, 20% because percent means out of 100. Let's take a look at one more example. We've taken an example of 1 over 4. Well, there's a couple other ways that we can look at this. If we were to find a fraction equivalent of 1 over 4, we could simply say that, hey, you know what? 4 goes into 100. We know that from our divisibility rules. So we could say that 25 and times both of these by 25, and that is going to give us a fraction equivalent of 25 over 100. So if we look at this fraction and we can see that this is 25 over 100, we can simply say that this is the equivalent of 25% because percent means out of 100. Let's take a look at this problem here. This is asking us to find out what 25% of 60 is. Well, we can take a look. And if this at the start of the number line is 0, and this at the end of the number line is 60, okay, this would be 100% of the number. If we had 60 out of 60, it would be 100% or 1. And in this case, we would have 0, or 0 over 60, or 0%. And we can simply break this number line down. 
then we know that the halfway point of 60 would be 30. Okay? And we're sitting here trying to figure out, well, what is 25% of 60? And the way that we can figure that out is simply by calculating 60 times the decimal equivalent, which is 0 0.25, to come up with an answer of 15. Now, because we know this is 25%, okay, we know that um, this here, if we broke this into quarters, this would be 15, 30, 45, and finally to so 60. Therefore, what we're looking for is the 25% of the final answer, which is 60.